Good afternoon, Kindercare. We're going to be joining together to read the story of the grumpy monkey. Now, this is a story about a little monkey who's having a grumpy day, and maybe sometimes that's just going to be okay. So let's discover what Jim experiences on his grumpy day. The grumpy monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Panzi woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, Jim said. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Lemur. Oh. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh, no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why the frown? said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everybody wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds, but Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys, but Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras, but Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks, but Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stop with us. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should stay in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why, Why are you grumpy, Jim? Jim? Asked the others. It's such a, a wonderful, such a wonderful day. day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everybody but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No. I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? Asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt 
a little bit better. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kindercare, for this reading of The Grumpy Monkey. And hopefully you learn that some days it's okay for you to be grumpy. You don't have to be always happy, but just know it's just a moment and things will always get better. Thank you all again for all of our teachers reading. And we're excited that you had this time to enjoy this book. We'll see you soon.